What's up, Michael here from Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change the color of SVG icons natively within Webflow. This means that things like states, such as hover states or pressed states, as well as Webflow interactions work perfectly. So for this icon, I have a hover state where it changes blue when I hover over it. And for this icon, if I click on it, it will change col colors. This is using Webflow interactions. So this really comes in handy for like buttons that have icons in them and they have hover interactions or whatever. Here you can easily change the icons as well. So before we get in this video, we are a Webflow development focused agency for startups and tech companies. If that's something that would interest you, there are links in the description where you can get in touch with us. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. So currently it is impossible to change the color of .svg images in Webflow. So we're going to have to use SVG code. Now, if you don't like custom code, don't worry. It's very, very simple, especially if you use bootstrap icons. That's the one I'm gonna be using in this video. And it is super simple. All you have to do is go to bootstrap icons. So the URL is technically icons.getbootstrap.com. I'll link it in the description below. And they have an entire library of icons but you're not just limited to bootstrap icons there's tons of icon libraries out there feel free to use whichever one you want all we have to do is pick an icon so i'm going to pick this one icon also you can search for icons on bootstrap icons um, but i'm just going to use this one if we scroll down you can see we have this html code all we have to do is copy this svg code go back into webflow and all we have to do is drop in an embed block so this is a custom code block and then once that's open all we have to do is paste in this code. If we hit save and close, you can see we have the icon in there perfectly. If I go to the uh, style panel and I change the font color, you can see it is changing the color of the icon perfectly. Now there are a few things to keep in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this custom code. By default, if you use bootstrap icons, it is gonna have a width of 16 pixels and a height of 16 pixels. What I like to do is I like to go in here and change it to width 100%, height 100%, and then hit save and close and it is going to go all the way to the edge of whatever container you're using but then on this element i like to set a custom class and then i change the sizing right here under sizing in the style panel so i'll do three rems wide and three rems high and i like to change the size of the icons this way. That way I can do it right in Webflow and not have to change the code. Now there's also one other thing you wanna keep in mind. If you use bootstrap icons, the thing I just showed you, you don't have to worry about this at all. But if you are using another icon library, they might not have this included. So you'll just have to quick make this edit. If we inspect the code again, you can see under fill equals, it's set to current color with a capital C for color. This needs to be set in order for you to be able to change the color of the SVG icon within Webflow. So if you're using bootstrap icons, again, this is already done for you, that's perfect. If you are using another icon library, just have to make sure that the icon's color is set to current color so that you can change the color in Webflow. So that is all there is to it. Now you can not only change the color in Webflow, but you can use things like hover states. So on hover, I'm going to change the color to uh, yellow. If I preview the site and I hover over it, it changes to yellow perfectly. Also keep in mind that the color is being changed by the font color, so not the background color. If that was helpful, you can subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, if you are looking for Webflow development or Webflow consulting, which is something we offer too, there are links in the description where you can get in touch with us.